This actually isn't the highest. We can get a little higher here. Well, we can't even but, go higher over here. Yeah. But this so is this an is amazing what? view here on top of the Basilica in Quito. Yeah. You can see that's the Virgin. Mm -hmm. that, uh, is, I think that's the second highest spot. Okay. Because this actually goes up a little higher. Yeah. But uh, it's also really beautiful. On Christmas, they decorate a bunch of Christmas trees, like really huge, that you can mm -hmm. see from all, this, all over the city. Yeah, yeah. It's just a beautiful place. It is, <laughs> the views it is, here. It is really pretty. It's amazing where this church is standing right now. Uh -huh. It is so high that you can see pretty much everything on your yeah. eyesight. <laughs> and you see all these mountains over there. A little bit of fog coming out. It's incredible that this valley is pretty much filled with houses. Yeah. Wow. Do you know do you know population of the Kido? I don't know. Roughly. I honestly don't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll Google that we'll later and put that in the video, yeah. yeah. Wow. How, how, is, how is life living here, Josh? Can you tell a little bit? Relaxing. Uh -huh. It's uh, freedom. The type of freedom that an artist or musician wants. You know, you have free time. Everything's so cheap that you can really just work such a small amount to pay your expenses that you have time to go on vacation wherever you want, do, you know, have free time to create art. Uh, since everything's so close, you can go to the Amazon in those five, six hours. You can go to the beach five, six hours. You can go off Cotopaxi, which is an active volcano with snow on the top. It's actually even closer. It's like three hours away. So with all this free time in a place like this, you can really just like take advantage and have an amazing life where in the United States, I felt like I didn't have that time. I had a lot of money, but I wasn't able to live these experiences that made me feel like rich, you know, and here it's... Uh, it's a different universe, different dimension. I feel mm -hmm. like it's like other people call it a third world country, but to me, this is like first world country. I have freedom and time, and you know, happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Wow. In 2007, I moved from Los Angeles to, to Quito, to Pomaski actually. There's an indigenous town there that taught me how to grow my own organic food. I had guinea pigs, which they eat here, but I had them just to produce you know, organic uh, fertilizer. And they taught me how to do that. Basically, you don't have to buy anything. You just have to you know, give your kitchen leftover food to those little animals. They eat it and poop and you grow your food. So I just immediately fell in love with like how simple and how like sacred the, the way of life here is. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was November 5th, 
Yeah, well, we're in the Basilica de Quito. It's a really beautiful church. Uh, it's actually not that old. I had thought that it was older, but it's 125 years old. It's one of the newer uh, churches here built in Quito. But it has this, you know, whole style from Spain. Uh, it's really, really beautiful architecture. And it has this energy here. Um, there's a lot of stories about what's underneath this place. Uh, but I, I feel this really, you know, pure energy here. It has re it's the highest part in Quito also. One of the highest parts. The other highest part is the, the statue of the Virgin. It's kind of right across from here. But it's really beautiful here. It's, uh, it's really like nothing else you've seen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a service every day for at least you know a half an hour every day. Uh, it's mostly Sundays, but here in Ecuador, you know, there's a lot of uh, Catholic people. So this is kind of like the main center for Quito to, to worship. Let's go on to the roof and see what the view is like from up there. Wow, the view must be intense up here. This is like the highest point. Have you been up there? No. Oh, oh I'm so excited, bro. It's closed. That's so awesome. You haven't been there, too. Wow. Yeah, it's the first time seeing this for me. Where's it? Where's it? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Josh, where you at? I'm over here, hanging out in the Basilica. <laughs> so this is the place where um, the bishop, the church priests used to hang out over here. <laughs> you know, when they are a little bit uh, stressed out, they have a little bit of sip of beer, maybe? Uh-huh. <laughs> That'll be nice, yeah? Some sacrament wine? <laughs> yeah, the Basilica. Uh -huh. Wow, it's beautiful over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> And the view from up here is amazing. The view that the drone got. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful, right? So Josh gonna take us up, show us the rooftop. Let's go, guys. This is the. I went very slowly that way. Hi guys. Hello. So I just met this awesome guy. He is actually from here in Quito. Yeah. Vivo en España. Tengo 27 años, pero soy originario de Ecuador. So now in English. Now in now English. In English. Yeah. <laughs> Name is Diego. Uh, I'm old 27, 27 years old. And I live in Spain right now. But I'm original from Ecuador. I hope you guys notice who he looked like. <laughs> and this movie is fucking awesome. 
<laughs> so it's apocalypse. Tell me apocalypse. I just be, I just I start my trouble. It's the beginning. I just mm -hmm. here three days. So that's my third day. Okay. So I start a little bit uh, emotion. Yeah, I'm yeah. Excited. I'm yeah. Excited. Good for you, man. Good Thank you so you. much. Thank you for you. Also. So I'm from Italy, uh, the northern part of Italy, and uh, I'm keto traveling now, and now I'm going to Mindo, it's in the forest, and I love Ecuador, I really love Ecuador. It's like a long time I want to travel to Ecuador, and now finally I'm here, so you can enjoy this view too, with me. <laughs> with me too, I'm with here, you, okay? With you too. Yeah, yeah. And it's fantastic here. So if you have great. the opportunity to travel around Ecuador, you have to do it because it's fantastic. <laughs> some food because I need to climb this um, hill all the way up to the angel statue so I had some chicken I had some rice and some onion on the side it was pretty cheap it was three dollars the water was like 50 cents um, so yeah um, it's gonna be a uh, quite a walk so let's see how it goes Motorcycle would be nice, but, well, motorcycle would be nice, but there's the stairs we need to climb all the way to the top. Let's see. All the way to the top. See that?
worth it. The view is really pretty. Hope it's worth it. Look at that. It's a beautiful city. Wow. <sighs> So they told me that I cannot take out my cameras. So here I am recording with my phone. These girls climb all the way to the top. I'm exhausted. So we just got over here. There's still a little bit to go. But I'm, I'm kind of hesitant because uh, <clears throat> the cops told me to take put down your cameras. Uh, don't show it outside. And over here, it looks like there's no security, so I'm not sure I'm taking my camera and stuff. So I'm just gonna stop over here and enjoy the view. This is the Keto. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> 